Uh, hi guys, welcome. Okay, this is uh, next video in our Jetstream section. So here we will see like we will try to understand the views in the Jetstream and uh, how we can modify each section, uh, each uh, view in the Jetstream. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, check this out. Okay, so first like uh, you can go to level Jetstream and go to concept overview. So you here you will see like okay uh, views and pages. So here, uh, there are two actually stacks. One is LiveWire and the one is Inertia. For the Inertia, the application actually uh, published the views in JS directory. And for the for the LiveWire, actually, the, uh, the views are published directly into the resources directory. So let's go ahead and publish these views uh, for the LiveWire. Let's remove this guy. Okay, so Jetstream views are published. Let's go ahead and check the views. What are published? Okay, if you go resources, views. Uh, so first let's check welcome that played that PHP. This is, these views are already uh, here. The only views that are published in, are in the vendor directory. So we'll go to that. Let's go ahead and check these views. And the vendor, in the welcome page, we have uh, login, we have menu. Okay, let's go ahead and check the dashboard. We, we have our menus as well. So first of all, these x dash app dash layout, these are actually components that are being used. So to go to the components, you can just go to the components directory. Uh, actually, by default, the uh, the components are present in the component directory in the view, but uh, you can change the view location based on the component class. So here, uh, this is our class app layout. Uh, and here we are rendering the view from layout chart app. So by default, this is our uh, app component, layout uh, app component, or you can say layout component here. So if you go here, uh, you can actually see this here in this component, we can see, okay, there is one banner. I think this guy, uh, we can actually check check this banner as well. So this banner is coming from the jet stream here. This is the banner actually that is coming here, which has uh, some text, uh, which is using alpine.js. This is X data. This is uh, the alpine.js directory. Okay. And uh, this is using tailwind CSS. You can see the tailwind directives here. And yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it actually. So there is nothing much to it. Okay, what else we have in the layout? Okay, we have the navigation menu and we can also check this in the live wire navigation menu. So you can just uh, check it in here. Uh, resources use navigation menu. Okay, uh, this navigation menu is published. So in this navigation menu, we have dashboard. We forever have team features. Then show the teams. Otherwise, this actually navigation menu has uh, this component here uh, at the top. Okay, uh, this component which has this dashboard, which has this menu, and which has a profile. Okay, and uh, what else? Uh, this application mark is this guy. I, ho I hope uh, we can actually try to change it and see like how it works. Okay, and then these are nav links, like the dashboard is one of the nav link here. Uh, this is the nav link dashboard here. We can add a remote link to it if we want to. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and uh, first try to change this application mark that to see if we can change it. So for that, actually, we can go to application dash mark that bleed that PHP. So yeah, this is the SVG that is being removed. Let's go ahead and remove this and see like if it is being removed or not. Okay, cool. So it is being removed. Let's go ahead and add our own application mark. Actually, I thought, I think I have um, one image here. JPNC. Let's see if it works or not. Um, uh, images profile JPNC. Let's see. Let's see if it works. Okay, cool. So it works. You can actually remove it and put it back. Okay, the next thing is, let's go ahead and refresh it. Uh, I have seen some question like how to actually change this logo here. For this actually, we can go to the login view here. And let's go ahead and go to auth and then go to login view. So here you can see uh, there's an uh, XJet authentication card logo. Uh, you can actually go to authentication card logo. Here there is again an SVG. Uh, we, we can actually remove it to see like if it works or not because most of the time you guys will not be using these logos by default uh, just stream logo you need to change it so that's why like i thought i will cover this in our video uh so how you can change it and how you can find these guys okay and um, 
so the authentication all the authentication routes are here if uh, anything you want to change it you can change it and it is uh, actually controlled by uh, the parent layout is guest layout so this guest layout you can also find here if you want to change it and um, for example if you want to use bootstrap or uh, if you want to use any other css framework you just need to change this and um, you just need to remove these direct if you want to include from cdn if you want to include it in your npm package manager then you can just go ahead and uh, Add it in the npm package manager and then you will go here css here you will include the, your css and for the js you can actually go here and include your js here uh so yeah that's it actually one more thing i wanted to show you that uh, how you can override your labels okay if you go here you can actually find this label here and uh, if you want to change the color or if you want for example let's make it uh, black now it's green let's make it blue blue 500 let's go ahead and see if it works okay cool so all the labels are changed so based on this you can actually uh, control every segment of this um, uh, this school starter kit for example uh, there is one more thing i want to show you for example input uh, okay this is the input so the input borders are green for example you want to make it red let's go ahead and check that so the input borders will be red okay uh, so yeah, this is how you can control every every aspect. For example, this is the checkbox. You can control. Uh, this is the border gray again. You can change this as well. And, uh, you can also change the look and feel of it as uh, how you want to. For example, uh, this is the button path that is used everywhere in the the jet stream. So if you want to change this to uh, BG gray, you can change it to uh, BG blue. For example. Uh, cool. So this is how you can change it. And uh, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video so now you know like uh, how to find the views and uh, how to edit the views and th this is not a big deal you can just uh, do whatever you want uh, with this uh, jet stream you can mold it to your own project because most of the time you will not be using this uh, default uh, jet stream starter kit uh, styling so you will be using your own styling so in the next video we will try to overwrite the login page and uh, register page in with our bootstrap and see like how this works and yeah that's it for this video let me know if you have any comments or questions i will try to address that in our next video see you cheers bye bye